Welcome to our guide to 37 weeks pregnant. Congratulations, you're in the home stretch now. Let's dive into what you can expect during this exciting time. At 37 weeks, your baby is considered full term, meaning their organs are developed and they're just adding on a bit more weight and fine tuning their systems. By this time, most babies are in the head down position however, if your baby isn't in the head down position at 37 weeks, it's essential to take proactive steps. First off, keep active. Movement can encourage the baby to turn. Consider activities like walking or prenatal yoga, which can gently nudge your baby into the right position. Additionally, try pelvic tilts or other exercises your healthcare provider recommends to help encourage the baby to move head down. Throughout your day, focus on optimal positioning, sitting and moving in ways that encourage the baby's movement. Avoid reclining positions for too long, as this can make it harder for the baby to turn. It's crucial to have a discussion with your doctor or midwife about your options. They may suggest specific techniques or exercises tailored to your situation. In some cases, they might recommend a procedure called external cephalic version ECV, where they attempt to manually turn the baby into the head down position. Remember, always consult your healthcare provider before trying any techniques and keep the lines of communication open throughout this process. Physically, you may be feeling heavier and more uncomfortable as your baby continues to grow. Your belly might feel even more stretched, and you may experience increased pressure in your pelvis. Continuing to stay active with gentle exercises like walking or prenatal yoga can help alleviate some of this discomfort and prepare your body for labor. Now is a great time to make sure you have everything ready for your baby's arrival. Double check that your nursery is set up, and have all the essentials like diapers, clothes, and a car seat ready to go. Emotionally, you might be feeling a mix of excitement and nervousness as you prepare to meet your little one. Consider starting a pregnancy journal to capture these final moments before your baby's arrival. It's common to experience swelling in your feet and ankles at this stage of pregnancy. Remember to elevate your feet when possible and stay hydrated to help reduce swelling. Speaking of preparations, don't forget to pack your hospital bag with essentials for both you and your baby. This can include toiletries, comfortable clothes, and items for breastfeeding if you plan to do so. Finally, as you near the end of your pregnancy, it's important to practice relaxation techniques and breathing exercises to help manage any anxiety or discomfort you may be feeling. Thanks for watching and please give us a thumbs up. See you on the next one.